guys! So, um, this video is just uh, purely for update purposes. It's gonna be really simple. I just kind of like want to explain why I haven't uploaded for Vlogmas and you know what's gonna happen with that and my channel because I feel like it's a little bit of a mess right now. So, I was only going to record on Snap, you know, just kind of like talking to you guys and post it on Twitter, but then I realized. Um, that a lot of you that m watch my videos maybe don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram. So I thought I would make a quick video, even if it's like a super short video. So I'm just gonna like be completely real with you guys. If you haven't seen, I don't remember what Vlogmas day it is, but it's the one where it says like I have big news. And in that video, I tell you guys that I got a new internship. Um, and in several Vlogmas videos, I kind of like allude to the fact that like I'm a little bit stressed and overwhelmed and stuff. I, I basically, I, I kind of did this to myself. So I started a new internship, uh, like I met, like I previously mentioned, and uh, the internship wants me to put in a lot of hours weekly. Originally, it was for spring. You know, it was supposed to start during the spring semester. I told them that I could start earlier because I don't know, I could. Technically, the semester ends this week, which is the second week of December. Usually it ends the first week of December. It just ended the second week uh, of December this year, this semester because of Hurricane Irma. I, I was like, yeah, I could totally do this. Another aspect that I did not consider was <laughs> that I have two jobs. So I babysit and I am a writing tutor and I know you probably may think like, oh, you babysit, that's not a big deal. But I don't babysit on an occasional basis. I babysit, well I used to. <laughs> I used to babysit every single day. I would pick up the children, take them to their extracurriculars, take them to their dad's house, their mom's house. And sometimes I'd work until 10 o'clock at night. Sometimes I'd work till 12 o'clock at night. Sometimes I would just work like one hour. It was inconsistent, but it was definitely consistent enough where I worked enough days out of the week to consider it when taking this internship and being a writing tutor takes up a good amount of hours but it's not as much as babysitting so I thought I could you know just handle the two maybe have less hours with tutoring because babysitting is where I get my main income surprising as that may be and so I told myself I can totally start this internship the first week of December and work two jobs and uh, finish finals and do vlogmas I told myself I could do that because I was like, I'm a bad bitch. I, I got this. <laughs> That's what I said. And uh, it, it backfired on me. Honestly, the first week of the internship, which was last week, was extremely crazy. I, I don't know why I did that to myself. In a way, in a sense, luckily, at the same time that I told my babysitting boss that I got an internship, she told me that she had to lessen the amount of days I worked weekly and I was like what so it was kind of like I lost one of my main incomes uh, with you know I I've got shit to pay for it. when she told me this I was extremely stressed right and I'm here like stressing out like I don't know what the, he what the heck I'm gonna do tutoring does not pay me enough like it does not it does not pay me enough at all for me to only tutor so I was like I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't want to quit tutoring and now I'm gonna have this internship and I'm not gonna have time for another job like the hours that the the internship requires and the hours that tutoring requires there's no way I'd be able to get another job so <laughs> essentially I was already stressed before I even started the internship because of this whole income ordeal but then at the same time I was like okay I guess I'm less stressed time wise and also I had money saved so I am able to cover my expenses for a little bit but, you know, I'm, I'm gonna need a second income eventually, and, you know, I, I still don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But, you know, I'll take one step at a time. One step at a time, okay? <laughs> so, I start the internship, and, you know, like I mentioned in, in that Vlogmas, where I, you know, I'm overwhelmed, and I put a lot of pressure on myself to, like, be the best. I'm also very insecure. And um, I get a lot, I get, I get very in my head and it kind of happens subconsciously. I just kind of like feel like this constant state of anxiety. I'm just like 
I'm just like anxious the entire time and, I, and my heart is like always racing and I feel like my mind is gonna explode I feel like it's like I'm, I'm overflowing with emotions and thoughts inside of me I was feeling like that the entire week and on top of that I had to record videos I had to edit videos every day I had to get used to waking up way earlier than I am used to I also had to have my last writing class and I also had to take a final, two finals, and I also had to finish like two or two or three assignments. Listen to me. Listen to me. I was so stressed. Like, I cried, I don't know, three or four times last week? Three or four times in one week? I was in a constant state of like sensitivity and anxiety. Like any little thing would make me super, super upset or super sad. And I was super tired. So like... I don't know about you guys, but if I don't get a lot of sleep, I'm like a baby. You know how babies, like, they throw a fit and you're like, oh, it's because you're tired? That happens to me. <laughs> Maybe I never matured in that aspect, but it happens to me. All of this together, I, I promise you, I was feeling very weird. I was feeling not like myself the entire week. It was very weird. I wasn't motivated. I wasn't inspired to do anything. I was literally questioning if I was enjoying the internship because every time I would leave the internship, I was so tired and so busy thinking about everything that I had to do. At the end of the day, when it was time to go to sleep, I would think about having to wake up the next morning to go to the internship and I was like, I don't want to. It was so, it was it was so weird. Like I would just question myself. Like, do I really like this? Like, do I even want to go? And that's insane. It was my first week. Like, I shouldn't be having those thoughts. I should be excited. But because I was so overwhelmed with everything, it drained me entirely. And I was just what happens to me is that if I get overwhelmed mentally, it takes a little bit more than just like a bath. It takes a lot for me to calm down and like feel like myself again. I become very uninspired and I become very unmotivated and I become essentially like very down and very sad. I, I, I become very lazy. It just like that. It goes off. And all of a sudden I don't recognize myself. I'm like, what are these feelings that I don't, I don't want to record a video. I don't want to edit a video. I don't want to upload a video. I don't want to have this YouTube channel, I don't want to post on social media, I don't want to go out with my friends, I don't want to do anything. I don't know why that happens to me. I am still trying to learn how to navigate it because I'm just realizing this now. I kind of have to figure out how to work around it and I have to figure out how I can still motivate myself if I'm overwhelmed. I haven't figured that out yet, stay tuned. But I just wanted to explain why I haven't uploaded vlogmas in all these days pretty much tell you guys i'm not i'm not going to continue doing vlogmas i overextended myself my mind is not there right now that's pretty much it i feel like i've talked for way too long so that's pretty much it. i just want to be real with you guys i don't like being negative in my videos but i also pride myself on being honest and open with you guys so I don't necessarily think this is negative because I am opening up to you guys and I am relating to you guys and, and giving you something to relate to me so you guys know like I'm a real person I'm not just like this happy face all the time on in videos and stuff like I do go through things and like this is one of the things that I go through quite often actually I hope that I can relax and that I can kind of calm down I'm still in this like constant state of anxiety and it's like killing me I don't know how to fix it I don't know how to make it go away um believe me I have my ways of making my anxiety calm down when I have like a panic attack and I do have ways of making my thoughts calm down but when they get to this point it's like they're just racing. I don't, I'm not even like consciously thinking comprehensive things. It just feels like my mind is working and it's like not stopping. I'm just nervous. I don't know. If you have any tips, throw them at me. I would appreciate them. And um, I hope that this video maybe help you in some way. That's pretty much it though. Uh, I'm just gonna take the month of December to like focus on my internship and just kind of like focus on me, focus on my family, focus on my boyfriend. We'll still be doing the weekly vlogs. That's it. I'm gonna stop talking. Hopefully I can get this video up in the next like two days. I want to thank you guys for your support always. You guys always support me no matter what the fuck I do. Like you guys are always there like you know like telling me it's okay and that you guys support me and I really appreciate that. It really helps me sometimes. Thank you.
I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> I hope that you guys can enjoy some other Vlogmas videos from like some of my favorite peeps. I'll link them down below. Maybe I'll put them like all around my face. They're the bomb, so go check them out. Thank you so much for watching and listening, listening to me talk for so long. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.